welcome uh, to the forum again. Uh, the co-chair for this year's forum committee, or for the candidate committee, is Bill Aldridge. He will also be the moderator in the second hour. In the first hour, another committee member, Shelley Daly, will be the moderator. I'm kind of the guy in the black hat who has to keep track of whether or not everything is working. So if I ask for a slight pause, um, it's not because I don't like you, it's because I'm trying to make sure the candidates get equal time and they're on videotape. I want to thank Tom Brady, who again is videotaping uh, this for everybody and it will be posted on the website uh, before too long. I also want to thank the other members of the committee, some of whom are out of the room, uh, some of whom are not. In the front row, Mary Armstrong and Denise Aldridge. In the back, Rosalie May, Marilyn Winters, uh, and in the other room, Wayne May and Kevin Burton. I, this, is, um, this is a totally volunteer activity, by the way, so I commend it to your consideration next year. Um, I also want to have a big thank you to Julie Dawson, who has a, a much more difficult job than we do, and she's the election expect, inspector. So to get to her, you have to go through us. Uh, in addition, in addition uh, I would be remiss if I did not thank staff, uh, not only Brian, but also Luz Gonzalez for all the help she uh, gave us in, in setting everything up here, James McCubbin and his staff working on the technical aspect of this, uh, and Laura Babcock for uh, doing good work and making sure that we're all uh, in good standing and all the petitions were signed correctly, etc. Uh, very briefly, a few time, a few transparency issues. Uh, we do ask you to turn off your cell phones. It's only for two hours. Um, if you need a fix, there will be bricks, and you can, you know, go out and turn it on, and then bring it back and turn it off. Uh, the uh, this is an NLCC club function, and as a result, uh, we want to make sure that there is no distribution of, of election material in this room only for these two hours. You can use this room anytime after that or, or anywhere else uh, on the common property to do any election hearing that you would like. But as a club function, the club reserves the right to set its own rules for this, so we don't want any diversion from giving the candidates the time they deserve. Um, and I'm just going to remind you probably more than once, keep in mind these five people are volunteering a substantial portion of the next two years of their life to serve us. So please remember that this is about them. We will have questions in the second hour, and Bill will walk you through those at, uh, when the second hour uh, occurs. Um, a couple of little, uh, little rules. It's in the second hour. He's going to remind you that when there is an opportunity for questions, uh, number one, you have the opportunity to grab uh, an index card. There are pens over there if you'd like to write a question before the end of the first hour. We'll also, uh, Bill will control uh, calling on people. Uh, Wayne May and Kevin Burton and I will control the microphones in the audience and get to you very easily for a 30-second question. Again, it's about the candidates' opportunity to present themselves to you. Um, the questions can be addressed in any which way you want, but we have set the rules so that all the candidates get to answer all of the questions, and they're going to get to answer them in the order. It's actually going to be the reverse order of how they appear during the first hour. Um, you're free to ask yes or no questions, and candidates are free to answer yes, no, or both. So, go to them. All right. Uh, Marilyn, would you do me the favor of going and getting the first candidate on the appearance list? And that person is Tom Stalker. The peer here in the first hour was determined by a double random number generation based on one through five, obviously. So these are not alphabetical. They're, they're in the order. Uh, the appearance order is the same order you're going to see on your ballot. Um, 